Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below to see more of my videos. I would love to have you guys here. So today's video is actually going to be a highly, highly, highly requested video. It is all about my hair color, how I keep it this color, what color I use, how I style it, what products do I use, all of that good stuff. So if you guys are curious to see um, my kind of like hair care routine, the color, all that stuff, then give me a thumbs up and let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is my color. So unfortunately, I don't have like the color here to show you guys. Um, my sister and I are both hairdressers, so she does my hair color for me. So let's start with kind of like what she does. So what she does is she does just my roots usually because down here is what I already have, you know, as the color that I want. So she doesn't touch anything down here. So what she'll do is a, you know, foil and she'll touch up my roots and she'll do a baby light, which is a very, very fine highlight. So if you are going for this look, tell your hairdresser that you want baby lights and that is what she does on my hair. So as you can see, it's very finely highlighted. You can see they're very small, fine pieces, and that is what she does. I actually haven't done my hair in a probably a couple months, so this is it growing out. As you can see, my roots are growing out. I am technically kind of like a dirty blonde, um, so yeah, it's very, very light. Um, as it is so it's very easy for me to achieve a very light blonde color that you see um, here or someone that has extremely dark hair it is going to be kind of hard to get this color you know after one shot it's definitely going to take a while even with my hair being as light as as it is naturally it you know didn't take one day to achieve this color so just keep that in mind when you're going to your hairstylist I always try to ask them what products they already have on their hair if it's virgin color you know all that good stuff and I try to tell them like what the expectations are going to be um, so if someone, you know, has really dark hair and they show me a picture and it's like extremely light blonde, I always tell them it's going to take a long time to get you this color because number one, I don't want to damage your hair. And number two, it's just not going to get that light after one shot. Some people have naturally red pigments in their hair so they lift more on the orange side or they lift more on the red side rather than kind of like the neutral tone so because I have a very neutral hair color it's easy for me to lift more on the like silvery white side if that makes any sense. So she um, lightens my hair with bleach and she uses 30 volume usually and she uses Olaplex as well um, to mix in with the color and if you don't know what Olaplex is it has bonds in it and it kind of builds your hair back together as it's lightening if that makes any sense so it keeps it very strong so it's not like a miracle worker it's not gonna make your hair if you have damaged hair it's not gonna give you like luscious locks but try to find a salon that does offer Olaplex with their lightening treatments because that will really help your hair be healthy so once she lightens it the biggest step is the toner um, so what she uses for toner is 10 BS by Goldwell and it is their colorance line so um, it's like a beige silver and that's how I get kind of the silvery blonde so what she'll do is mix it up leave it on this on at the sink for like 10 to 15 minutes and then sometimes we do use 10 P which is 10 pearl so it gives you that kind of like pearl blonde so when you are getting your hair um, lightened, always make sure that your hairdresser or hairstylist is using a toner at the end because toner is going to make a really big difference in the color that you're getting. So toner doesn't last permanent, it's just kind of depositing the color onto your hair. So you always, always want to buy a purple shampoo to keep your hair really nice and bright and that is how I keep my hair the color that it is. I always make sure to use a purple shampoo. So some of these products you might have to go to a hair salon to purchase or maybe if you know somebody that has their hairdressing license you can have them maybe pick it up for you because a lot of the products I use are from a professional company because I am a hairstylist and that's a lot of the products that I use so I mean you won't be able to find some of this stuff online but like I said you might be able to like contact your hairdresser maybe she has it or maybe she knows someone that sells it that you can get your hands on it this is by the brand milkshake so it's called milkshake silver shampoo 
Silver Shine Shampoo, and this is for blonde or gray hair. Now, this purple shampoo is honestly the most pigmented purple shampoo that I have ever used in my life, and I have used quite a few of purple shampoos um, because I have blonde hair. I always was testing different brands, and this by far takes the cake. This is the best purple shampoo, especially if you want that silvery blonde. This is what I used. I actually washed my hair today, and this is what I used prior to this video, so you can kind of see the silvery effect that it gives. The one thing that I will say about this is it is very pigmented. You do not want to leave this on for longer than two minutes because it will turn your hair purple. That's how pigmented it is. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it is extremely purple. Um, it will actually stain my hands if I leave it on too long. This is literally a toner in a bottle. Um, so I know between you know my hair appointments and stuff like that, I always like to tone my hair and this is pretty much what I use to tone it. I don't even have to really use a actual toner. I just use this purple shampoo and if my hair is starting to turn kind of yellowy, which it rarely does because it's pretty light, um, but if it does start to turn kind of yellowy, I'll leave this on for like an extra minute just to kind of like break through. Invest in a good purple shampoo. Um, to keep your hair nice and bright. Moving on to the shampoo that I use like in between. So I wash my hair typically every like three to four days, which sounds crazy, but the biggest thing with keeping your hair nice and healthy is to not wash it as much. That might sound gross, but let me tell you something. The longer you go without washing your hair, the less your scalp is going to produce oil. So the reason why our scalp gets oily is because when you're washing it, you're stripping all of the natural oils out of your scalp. So your brain is kind of saying like, okay, let's produce more oil, I'm dry. But the less that you wash it, the less it's going to be dry. So it's not gonna produce as much oil, if that makes sense. So if you have extremely, extremely oily hair, trust me when I tell you, just try to go an extra day without washing it. So if you wash your hair every day, try to go every other day. And then as you go every other day, then tack on another day and then go every two days. And as you go on it, you'll kind of train your scalp to not be as greasy. Trust me when I tell you, I used to wash my hair every single day and it used to get oily. And now I can go three to four days and it doesn't get oily. But in between washes, if I'm not using the purple shampoo, I will use this. This is by Chi, this is the Argan Oil um, shampoo. This stuff I recently just started using and I actually really, really like it. It's obviously sulfate and paraben free because it's um, by a professional brand. So you always want to purchase a sulfate free shampoo. If you are using a shampoo from Target or Walmart or CVS or the drugstore, whatever, it most likely will have sulfates in it because it keeps the shelf life longer. So that is why it has all that product in there because it has to have a shelf life. Um, so that is why it strips your hair because there's so much bad stuff in it to try to keep the shelf life. So if you buy a professional shampoo, it doesn't have sulfates in it, so it will not strip your hair color, and it's very, very soft and gentle on the hair. So I highly recommend a sulfate and paraben-free shampoo. So this is the one I use and I really like it. It smells amazing and it does have the argan oil in it so it's very, very moisturized. So to go along with that for conditioner, I do go with the same brand and this is obviously the conditioner for it. This stuff makes my hair feel like silk. It's absolutely amazing. I love using kind of like matchy-matchy products because I feel like they go well together if that makes any sense. Okay, so I did want to talk about a conditioner that I use that's a deep conditioner. I use it maybe once or twice a month to depending on how my hair feels. I don't have it to show you guys right now. This you can actually get at Ulta. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil. So it's in like a little, kind of reminds me of, it's like in a little bowl kind of. And you can get it at Ulta and it's called Macadamia. It has a green lid. That product is so good. It makes your hair so, so silky. I love that conditioner. You leave it in for seven minutes and your hair feels like refreshed, renewed. It's absolutely amazing and you can definitely find that at Ulta. So definitely check that out as a deep conditioner. It is so good. Okay, so that is all for like the shampoo and conditioner stuff. Now I'm going to talk about what I use when I get out of the shower before I blow dry my hair if I am drying it that day. So the first thing that I like to use is this. This is the Bumble and Bumble um, Hair Dressers Invisible Oil Heat Protective Primer. You can actually find this at Sephora, which is amazing. 
This stuff is fairly new to me and I have become obsessed with it. It smells so good. It literally makes your hair feel like silk. It says it softens, detangles, defrizzes, tames flyaways, eases styling, and protects against breakage, heat styling, and UV damage. So you're supposed to spray this on um, damp hair, it says, or you can spray it on dry hair, which I've never tried. This stuff is so good. I have become like a new lover of this. It literally transforms my hair. Like when I spray this on it and when I dry it, as you can see, my hair looks like really healthy and really shiny. And I really think it's because of this. This stuff is really good. I definitely um, recommend trying it. So when it comes to drying my hair, I do switch it up. So like I said, I've been using this one, but I have a couple other ones that I want to talk about. I am literally obsessed with. One that I want to talk about that I don't have right now because I ran out of it is the It's a 10. Um, that you can find at Target. Um, it's an amazing product. I use it on a lot of my clients. I like the keratin one. There's a few different ones. I will have it linked down below for you guys so you can find it. It is amazing. It does 10 things. That's why it's called It's a 10. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but it's amazing for heat styling. So if you're going to blow dry the hair or curl it, you spray it on there. It is amazing at detangling detangling the hair it'll literally make it feel like you have like conditioner in it and it feels so good it's not heavy on the hair it's an amazing amazing product I highly recommend the it's a 10 the keratin one I will have it linked down below okay so another blow dry spray that I want to talk about that I have become so in love with is the Kenra blow dry spray you can find this at I'm not sure if Kenra is sold at um, Ulta, it might be, but I'm not sure. But this stuff is amazing. It is so good. It is a lightweight thermal protectant. So this is good to spray in your hair before you're gonna blow dry it or whatever. So the amazing thing about this is it's supposed to dry your hair 50% quicker than it normally would without it and that's why I love this stuff especially at the salon when I'm really like have to get my clients dry or whatever I like to spray this on them because it does really take the um, moisture out of the hair good way not in a bad way but it makes your hair dry a lot quicker so a lot of these products that I'm talking about do kind of the same thing but I feel like they all do something different so I will literally spray some of this spray some of this and it doesn't weigh my hair down or anything like that I feel like they each do a little bit of different things so I like to kind of do a mixture like kind of like a cocktail of my own smell of this is to die for if they made this in a perfume sign me up every time I spray this on my clients they're like what is that I've never had such a reaction from one product and it's funny because literally every client that sits in my chair that I spray this on I'll it's funny I'll like spray and I'll be like all right three, two, one, and then they'll be like, what was that? That smells so good. It happens every single time I use it on a client. It's just amazing. And I'm someone that loves things that smell good in my hair. So definitely check this out because I find that it does work for that. So it keeps my hair kind of like silky and smooth all day. I've gone through like three of these and I am obsessed. Okay, so after I spray those you know products in like if I use this one or this one um, I will go in with a oil so I always like to do this because no matter what I'm spraying in my hair I feel like I always need like an actual oil for my hair do not put oil in your roots that is what's going to give your hair more of the heavy weighed down greasy look so whenever you're applying any oils you always want to just use a pea size amount rub in your hands and just focus it from maybe like mid shaft down so you just want to kind of like separate your hair and just kind of, you know, apply it this way. The two oils that I want to talk about is this one. This one is the Chi, so it's the same brand as the shampoo and conditioner that I talked about. And this is the Argan Oil. So this is paraben free as well, and this is a legit oil. This stuff is what I used today, so I apply this on wet hair. I also sometimes, if I blow dry my hair, I will go in and apply a tiny, tiny amount just to my ends to kind of seal the cuticle close and kind of keep everything nice and straight and shiny. So this is absolutely amazing for that. I love using this oil, it's really good. So this oil that I wanted to talk about, I was using a ton before I started using this one. And this one I actually got in one of my BoxyCharms. So if you're unaware of what BoxyCharm is, it's a monthly subscription box for $21. I will have a video of me kind of like unboxing it so you can see it linked up here. It's an amazing 
subscription box, but I got this in my BoxyCharm and I have become obsessed with it. This is the PYT Argan Oil, oil treatment from Morocco. This stuff smells like a sexy man. Like that's all I could really describe it. It smells so good and oh my god, it smells amazing. So you need a small amount of this. Definitely small amount, and you just apply this, like I said, in your ends down, and it's going to smooth things out, make it a lot easier to blow dry, and it kind of just seals the cuticle shut so you don't have any flyaways or anything like that. Definitely invest in a good hair oil. Um, argan oil is my favorite. It just is the best oil, in my opinion, and it really just keeps your hair really silky and shiny. So now I want to talk about some dry shampoo. This one has become like my newest favorite. So in between washes, I always like to use a dry shampoo. It just gives you some volume and texture. So the one that I have become in love with is actually very affordable. You can find it at the drugstore. This is the dry shampoo by Dove. The bottle just looks like this. Don't know where the lid is. I literally lose the caps to all of my things. So this is the volume and fullness dry shampoo. This stuff smells absolutely amazing. It does not have have a white cast when you spray it in your hair it doesn't look like you literally have white powder in your hair it's amazing though so it's meant to refresh instantly remove oil for clean hair with volume and fullness so I find that this dry shampoo gives me the most body that any dry shampoo has ever given me and it smells amazing so on days that I just don't want to style my hair I just put this in my hair so what I do is I spray it on the root and then I'll lift it up spray it underneath and kind of section off spray it and then I let it sit so the trick with a dry shampoo actually working is to let it sit for two to five minutes so that it can work all those oils and suck up all the oil. Some people will spray it, shake their hair, and they're like, it didn't do anything because you're not giving it a minute to kind of soak up all of the oils. So that's what you want to do. You want to spray it and just kind of let it sit, let it do its thing, and then kind of shake through. And then you will notice it sucks up all the oil and you'll have a lot of volume and body. As for a dry conditioner, I never even knew there was such thing. This is by Dry Bar and this is the Detox Dry Conditioner. So this is amazing because it's really good for when your hair is really kind of like dry feeling and tangly. Sometimes dry shampoo, if you use so much of it, you can kind of tend to start to feel it in your hair and it just kind of feels drying. So this is good to go in and spray to kind of break up that, you know, dryness and really just make it silky again. And it's supposed to detangle, soften, and hydrate dry ends between washes. So this is perfect to go in and spray those ends and really just bring it back to life again. So this you can actually find, I believe, at Sephora. And the last actual product that I wanted to talk about is just a hairspray. I rarely, really use hairspray. Sometimes I'll go in with hairspray if I'm curling my hair and I really, really need it to last, especially if I'm going to an event, if I'm going to a wedding, or if I'm going somewhere where I, where I really want my curls to last, then I will go in with a hairspray, and the one that I use is by Goldwell, and Goldwell is an amazing company. I use their hair color and a lot of their um, other products, but this is the Goldwell Volume Style Finish. This is a volume hairspray, but this one has a good scent to it, and it just gives your hair the hold, but it doesn't feel crunchy, and it looks really nice and natural in the hair, so I really like this hairspray. Really quickly, I wanna talk about a couple brushes, which might sound a little weird to you guys, but when I get out of the shower, the brush that I like to use is a wet brush. If you have never heard of a wet brush, it's really amazing. You can find them pretty much anywhere, and the bristles are just super, super smooth, so they're not going to rip your hair out. So I use this as soon as I get out of the shower. I like to brush my hair after I spray all the stuff in it. That way it gives my hair a chance to kind of soak up all those products and it'll be so much easier to brush through. Don't ever go in and dry your hair when it's sopping wet because one, it'll take you so much longer and two, it's just putting extra damage on your hair and extra heat that you don't need. As soon as I get out of the shower, I'll spray all my products in there and then I wrap up my hair with a towel and then I will do my makeup. So the towel will really soak up all of the wetness in your hair and it also really gives a time to let all those products that you put in your hair kind of seep in and do their job. I wrap my hair around with a towel and then I will do my makeup and then by the time I'm done with my makeup I'll take the towel out and my hair is almost dry. So what I like to do is go in with my big paddle brush and what I will do is I'll start, this might look really weird but one side and I will tilt my head like this and I'll take the blow dryer, this is so awkward, I'll take the blow dryer and I'll just brush my hair 
all to this side. So it's literally like flipped all to one side. So I'll take the brush and blow it this way, and then I will flip my hair the other way and blow it all this way. That way you're giving your hair um, a lot of body and it's not really blow drying it on one specific part. And that is what I find gives my hair the most volume. The best thing about this brush is that I will go in and blow dry my hair and kind of just guide my hair with the brush and this makes my hair dry straight. So if you are someone that kind of has a wave in your hair but you don't want to really straighten your hair, just use this and kind of, you know, blow dry it and just follow the blow dryer down. You never want to blow dry up. You want to blow dry down along the hair to close the cuticle. And that is what gives your hair that silky kind of straight look. So as for curling my hair, this is the curling iron that I use. I believe I bought this from Target a couple years ago. This is the Remington brand. I really like the Hot Tools brand, but I don't have one to show you guys right now. It's, I actually brought mine to work and I kind of keep it there to use on my clients. But I like to use this on myself because typically when I go in and curl my hair, I don't really like a tight curl. I like more of a beachy look. I will link my video up here of my beachy waves look. That is what I use to curl it and I absolutely love this curling iron because it gives you the kind of bigger curl and then it kind of just tapers out and it just looks really good. So definitely um, get your hands on this if you can find it at Target. It's an amazing curling iron. But I never really have to use a straightener because I like to dry it straight with the paddle brush and then I'll go in with that same oil and a little tiny bit and kind of use it on the ends and it just gives it that like straightened look without straightening it. As for haircuts, I do like to trim my hair once a month. I highly recommend if you are trying to grow your hair out, please, please, please get a haircut once a month. I don't care if you're getting a centimeter cut off. Wait, you know when, when people say like, oh, if you get a haircut, your hair grows faster, and people are like, well, what does it have to do with my hair growing faster up here if I'm getting it cut down here? When you are trimming your ends, you're getting rid of the split ends, so when your roots grow out, your ends are not splitting up, so it grows longer. So that so was pretty much it, guys. I really hope this helped you guys out and really answered some of your questions. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video on me getting my hair done. I can maybe try to get my sister to kind of film her doing my hair. Please give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this and if you guys liked it. Please subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!